Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover two of the sketch tools, circle and arc. But first, let's create a new sketch in the front plane. And now, we are ready to begin with the circles. Notice we have a drop-down list and we have two options for creating a circle, a center point radius option and a three-point circle, which we call perimeter circle in SOLIDWORKS. So, I'm selecting the center point circle, property manager opens, once again, notice the order of points. I select the center point first and radius point second. So I will select the center point, stretch the circle out, which rubber banding it, then select my radius point. The second option for circle is three point circle. I will select the first point, second point, and my third point. It is as easy as that. Now, let's close out with the circle command and let's try the arc. We have three types of arcs, a center point arc, a tangent arc, and a three point arc. I will begin with center point arc. And once again, notice the order of points. My center point is first. There is my first point, second point, and notice. When I go to select the third point, it is not giving me the arc I have expected. But notice, based on how you move the cursor, it may give you the opposite result. So, if you can't get the result you are looking for, just take your cursor all around the circle and move it back in the opposite direction and it will give you the arc that you desire. The next option is the tangent arc. So. I'm going first to draw a line because this arc option must be tangent to existing geometry. So once I have this line in the screen, I select my tangent arc. I go out to the screen, select the end point of this line, and notice I have a tangent arc. And based on where I move the cursor to, it will flip the arc from one side to the other. My last option is three point arc. You basically select three points. Start point, end point, and midpoint. And once again, based on where you move the cursor will be the direction of the arc. And now, before we release the circle and arc commands, I want to go back into the line command. So I'm going to close the arc command. I will go to line command. Now I will draw a line from this point to this point. Now, just we have covered the line command, I can select a third point. The line is going to continue to each other. However, before I select the next point, let's just simply move the cursor back to the last point selected without selecting anything. I move the cursor above the last point selected and then move the cursor away from it. The line changes to a line arc. And once I place that arc, notice I'm back into the line command unless I go back to the end point without clicking anything. Then it returns to the arc and back to the line. So the line arc combo that I just demonstrated is extremely handy. So don't forget this option built into the line command. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.